We, as community reporters for People's Voice Media, went out onto the street to ask Housing Association residents what they thought of their Housing Association. What do you think of the way that your Housing Association communicates with you? Very good. Um, I've just recently moved in with a, a World Valley and um, we've got a big pack and it's got all the telephone numbers on it I need. If there's an emergency, it's there. They might be a bit slow in doing repairs at times, but uh, you get around to it. No, they are, they are very, communica communication-wise, they're very good. Every year we get a, a personal visit from our ho housing officer. I um, say they were really good. Yeah, yeah, you get letters through the post quite often. They send, like, um, I think it's monthly updates, you know, like, by what's going on in the community and problems and stuff. Average. <laughs> Very average. Uh, basically, if you phone up with a problem, they're all right on the phone, but getting the problem done, that's the problem. Terrible. You report things, uh, they say they get back in touch. They never do. They make you repi write reports down. Uh, nothing gets done. I don't think they communicate very well. Um, they communicate with me on occasion because I'm secretary of the Residents Association. But other than that, there's lots of people don't find out anything. Not good at all. Rubbish. Uh, well, they write letters out. Send newsletters out as well. Yeah, send newsletters out, which ain't that much thingy to tell really, is it? Not very good, no. Not good at communicating. They send letters, but they're not that good. No, they send me weekly newsletters. This is what's going on our, on our estate, and it gets ripped up and put straight in the bin. Do your housing association tell you about activities in your area and get you involved in them? Oh yes, as a matter of fact, that's what we're, we're doing. As I say, at the present moment I've been to a meeting this morning regarding activities for the over 60s. We do curling and uh, domino and things like that. Jewelry making, painting and everything, I go painting and things like that. There are things on for people to go to if they want to, like, you know. Well, me personally, I think we could do with more youth centres and things like that for young children. I don't think there's many, you know, for teenagers like my son, there's not many things for him to do. They don't get really involved, they don't really have any involvement with us, really. Not unless it's something to do with them. President, organise or whatever, and they're the ones that do it. They, they send out leaflets to all the houses if they're doing something in the community centre, but I generally never go. Do you have done in the past? I mean, I can't because I'm disabled. Do you think your housing association are good at gathering your opinions and listening to you? They, they promise it, you know, nothing ever gets done. And Not so a thing. Do they send, like, surveys out to you and things like that? If they do, a lot of people won't do them because in the past we've done everything what we do. You, you write things down and then still again, they're flogging it at us. They're not very good at that. They don't involve us in their plans. They just do it and then tell us after they've done it. You can go to the meeting and tell your problems and whatever you've got to do. Um, they, they, they'd like it, but even if you tell them, they won't, they won't do nothing about it. It's like it's, you, speak, you speak to them on the phone. It's just like what rush you off the phone. I'm not not interested, but it's when you see you face to face. They, that's when they get the stuff done. Then. They, they do listen to you, but you've got to keep after them. If you follow what I mean, if you want anything doing, you've got to climb on the backs, as the saying goes. No, they don't listen because when I ring, they've got nothing on file that I've, I've put it on. They get our opinions and just ignore it. Can you suggest any improvements for them? Well, I should uh, ask them to improve the communication and consultation whenever they do anything. Uh, you contacting them and they come in and see you more often on a one-to-one -one basis at your home. An uh, improvement? Yeah. To listen to the customers? Uh, start listening to your people that, that are living on your estate, yeah. Are you aware of the new laws coming in that give you more powers to do with the big society and the localism bill? No. No. Not aware of that. Yes, yes, I'm a quite very believer in that. I, I read all my literature. No, I'm not aware of any of that. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. No. Although a lot of people are still not aware of their new big society rights, local housing association residents still have a lot of opinions, thoughts and feelings about the area they live in, and these deserve to be heard. And are these opinions being heard? Well, I think it's a little bit of a mixed picture.